So here is another normal distribution problem um, where we've got, it is found that fishermen in Norway catch herring with a mean length of 32 centimetres and a standard deviation of 2 centimetres. What proportion of herring are longer than 35.5 centimetres? So first of all, we want to define the, the normal distribution that we're considering. So x is normally distributed with a mean of 32 and a variance of 2 squared. Okay, so remember it's mean and then variance. We want to find the probability that x is greater than 35.5. So on our bell curve, what we're looking at is the mean of 32, and 35.5 is over here. So we want more than that, so we want this proportion. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to compare with the standardised normal. So remember, z... The standardised normal is x minus mu over the standard deviation, which in this case is 35.5. Take away the mean of 32 and divide that by the standard deviation of 2. So 35.5, take away 32, divided by 2, and we get 7 quarters, or 1.75. And so this is going to be equal to the property of z being greater than 1.75. So our standardised normal, we're looking at that probability there. Now, in order to find when z is greater than 1.75, what we're going to be looking at is uh, any probability to the left because that's what the, the tables in the back of the formula booklet do they always look at the probability of z being less than a value okay so they always look to the left just like uh, in the binomial and we want to maintain that uh, on the calculator as well so this is going to be equal to 1 take away the probability of z being less than 1.75. Okay, so I can work out the area to the left of 1.75 and take it away from 1. So I'm now going to show you how to do this on the calculator. So we have this mean of 32 and a variance of 2 squared and uh, we're looking for the probability that x is greater than 35.5. We found the z statistic to be 1.75, so we're actually looking for the probability of z being greater than 1.75. Um, now to do that, uh, we can do 1 take away the probability of z being less than 1.75, um, because I'm going to be using the calculator to do less than. So 1 take away the normal CDF, so we're going to go second, then into VAIS, so normal CDF, number two, press enter, and then we want to go from a negative number, large a large negative number, and minus 10 is good enough for that, minus 10, comma, 1.75, close the bracket, and this will find me the probability that I need, and I get 0.04 zero zero five nine one one three five so approximately four percent um is the probability that i'm looking for here